All right, we're going to work on creating plan and profile sheets for this project. I had already created them um, just to make sure that I, I could do it before I made a video about it. But because of that, we need to go through the process of taking out the models and the display views and all that stuff so that we can do it again uh, this information comes in handy because uh, if you make a mistake on cutting sheets and you have to do it again which is likely uh, you have to do all these things as well so we'll go through that okay so now the files pulled up we need to go to the default or the multimodal view and we had all those uh, models uh, we're going to recut these sheets so we're going to delete all of these it may take a second uh, delete all of them except for the default you want to keep the default uh, you also want to go to drawing production uh, when you create sheets sometimes it uh, creates these saved views and delete these as well uh, to be Completely honest, I'm not 100% sure what these do, uh, but they do, uh, if, if you don't delete them, the numbering will pick up where this left off the next time you cut sheets, and uh, it's really aggravating. So go ahead and delete those. And then we'll go to drawing production down here at this little uh, expansion button, and we'll pick our profile group. We will delete that. Go to our plan group, select that, and delete it. Sometimes uh, when you select it, the, the delete button doesn't show up, so you have to close it and come back in. Oop, that's not the button I want. This one down here. Click on the plan group, and so those name boundaries disappear. Now we'll go into name boundaries. We'll start with the civil plan, which is this button. Uh, drawing seed. Scroll down uh, for this project-specific uh, drawing seed. Uh, this is plan and profile plan view. And 8-row just means it's uh, shorter than the 10-row for the profile view. If you don't have a lot of um, elevation difference, you can use a, a smaller one. So that's what we'll do here. Uh, we're going to do a 40 to 1 scale. The name... Uh, I find that the default, by default, it puts in plans, plan space one. Uh, but if you delete that space and put in a, a zero, it helps with the numbering later on. So I highly recommend doing that. It'll ask for, down here it says, identi identify path element. It's going to be our center line. Uh, we'll pick where we want to start from. Uh, I've found from earlier, uh, from testing it out earlier, that sometimes it gets stuck and you can't get in here and change things. So let's close it, come back and try it again. Uh, seeds correct. We'll identify our path. Uh, from earlier, uh, experiments have found that 534 is a good starting point, gives us good space before and after the, the end of pavement and puts the, the intersection in the middle. So that worked out good. I like to change this. This is auto populated. I like to change this to just the name of the, the alignment that we're using. Sometimes it just picks itself, and you have to fight with it. So it named them something I didn't want them named. So now we'll go back through. There's two, two options here. You can just rename it here, or delete it and do it again. Uh, to rename it, you got to go to the properties. And you can rename it here. Doesn't show up here until you close it and reopen it. There. <clears throat> but now we've got 
our plan group here. And we need to do more name boundaries for the profile group. Uh, notice in the last one and in this one, uh, kept create drawing unchecked because we need to create both of the name boundaries first before we start creating the drawings. Uh, and now we'll change from plan to profile and select the drawing seed, project specific. Uh, make sure the detail scale is the same. Uh, change this to profile of one. Uh, now it's going to pick, uh, it's going to set the station limits uh, from our plan group instead of us telling it what the station limits should be. So it'll match whatever this plan group is, which is up here. Uh, but it asks that we identify the profile view. So we select view four and should be able to there created those. Uh, I don't see a need for this jump in elevation. Uh, and that's, you can work on that here. Uh, if you get the top elevation of five, that usually flattens it out, keeps everything at the same datum. Uh, and then you data point to accept once we're happy with it. And it creates the name boundaries for that. Now we go back into the name boundaries dialog, which is this little button here. And you'll notice the plan group is a, has linked profiles to it. So we can select this. Uh, we want to make sure that this is selected, the show create dialog box or create drawing dialog. Uh, you'll know it's selected when it's kind of grayed out behind it. It's a, it's a checkbox typically. And, and then we can go to create plan profile drawing. Click that and you get this dialog box come up. Uh, you can change the names of the model views that, that it's going to create. Uh, this is okay, um, but this is where you would change, make make those changes. You can also do it later uh, by hand, but this will do it, you know, automatically. Uh, we want to change this uh, annotation group to 40 for both of them, and the detail scale is 40 for these down here. And we can leave this uh, annotation as full size. This is for the uh, border file, essentially. So we want that one to one. And then we can click OK and cross our fingers and hope everything works. This takes a little bit of time. Uh, you can see the pro progress bar down here, but I'm going to cut out uh, the two or three minutes that it takes to do this. All right, and our sheets are created. And we can go and look through each sheet if we want. Uh, the annotation, when it created profile group, uh, it creates the, if you go and look at the, the drawing view, you can see um, it creates all the annotation, including uh, the elevations on the side, the stationing across the bottom, and uh, the elevation at each station. Uh, we don't want all of this information uh, and I haven't updated the annotation group to not include this yet but uh, I'll get around to that. But for the meantime we'll just have to go through and delete this information that we don't want. Uh, and this is a uh, existing ground profile so it's picking up information from the uh, from the tin, that's why it's kind of jagged like this. It's, uh, in a proposed profile, it wouldn't it wouldn't be like this, but for existing, it is. So we delete all these things, um, and then if we go back to that that view, that sheet view, I think that was where am I? Profile two. So go to the profile two sheet, and that, now those are deleted. Um, for the border file, we have. This guy here, and we need to change it from no nesting to live nesting, and change the nesting depth to two. And that way, we can open this up, select this guy, and then when we turn on this one, 
our border file will come in and then we can also do our seals here uh, so we're gonna have to do that individually or on each model uh, but that's how that's created uh, if you have any questions on why I did something how I did it or you know what tools I was using just message me give me a call whatever we'll get it figured out all right thanks